Oh, one more thing, Susan. Yes. That's oh, it. oh, just yeah. uh, just uh, ask away. <laughs> yeah, just one more thing. Um, yes, yeah. <laughs> we today are talking Colombo and uh, a particular episode from 1976 called Fade Into Murder from season six, uh, starring the Shat. The Shatner, William Shatner is the... Oh, look at that. There we go. There we go. But, um, yeah, it fared into murder uh, where the wit of the Shatner and Peter Falk collide. Oh, my gosh. It was a, it was hilarious. <laughs> I, right. To be honest, I had to watch this twice because... I got a bit confused. But there again, the character of who Shatner played was a confused person. Yes, yes. Yeah, he, right. So, it, and this is the only thing uh, a cram series, I've said this before to Susan. Yeah, I think this is the only cram series I know where you know who the murderer is, uh -huh. you know how they did it. Uh huh. And it's all the way through the episode. It's for the police to prove that they did it. Uh, and of course, Columbo is that clever. He spots straight away within 10 minutes of the episode. He knows who's done it. So he plays them all the way through. Um, which is a great way of making a, a, a TV detective series. So this one is about an actor who has been blackmailed by is it his agent or his or his writer or something like that. Um so he takes it on himself to um get rid of her, you know, in a in a way that nobody would be able to blame him for it. Uh, but of course you've got Columbo who comes on the scene. And the actor is played by William Shatner who plays a TV detective on TV. So his, he is playing Columbo, and Columbo is playing him. There, a a lot, know, yeah. yeah. And it, the way I was confused was that Shatner's character was speaking about himself or as the detective. So he his mind was very confused. Uh huh. I think at some points he believed he was the detective. Yeah. He way. he was he was actually giving enough rope to Columbo to see if he would take it. Yeah. So, but in the end, you know, the murder always gets caught. Yeah. So, Susan, what do you think to fade into murder? Okay. Well, <laughs> like uh, like the other movie that we watched this week, uh, this one was it was about it was it was about a TV show and a little more long, and it was uh, it was good to see Walter Koenig and. William Shatner and stuff well, you spotted, on you spotted, it. you spotted him. <laughs> oh, absolutely right away. And this was before Walter's voice was went so quiet. Walter's voice is now nothing really but a whisper. He he can he doesn't have much of a power behind it anymore. But he played a cop and um he played one of the ones who was working with Oh, <clears throat> Columbo. Anyway, uh, and uh, Chatner played a a detective, kind of uh, kind of like Columbo, but no, kind of also like like uh, the the detective in the Pink Panther series. Because his <laughs> name he was he was named Detective Lucerne, and he was sort of expressive. Yeah, yeah. Big, big hats, 
big they, walking cane. Yeah, right. Exactly. All of all of the accoutrement of a very of a very elegant French detective, though, you know. And Colombo plays a, a sort of diminutive Italian guy, and like that—that that was like a cultural thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. And the other thing was, um, like, uh, like Ward Fowler wasn't even this guy's name. I mean, he he he'd gone through a, a a name change to join the. What what in in the UK? What you all in the UK would call equity? Yeah. But yeah, uh, over here, um, he was in Canada, so maybe they still call it equity in Canada. But but he, he wasn't. He, he, the 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 character wasn't from Canada. He that's <laughs> it's the the character he perceived was from Canada, but that was a lie, wasn't it? He was from somewhere in America, a, a, an army desert or something, wasn't he? Oh yeah, that's right. He was the, quite right. The confusing thing is, there was he was about three people. Yeah, there were there was definitely some aspects of yeah, multiple personalities or whatever. Yeah, but there wasn't the memory loss between him. So anyway, uh, it was. It was the first episode of the sixth season of of Columbo. And sometimes Lee and I watch the very first episode of a thing before we uh jump into later episodes. But this is this is an instance where uh you know Lee and I are both familiar with this and we don't need like a like a, a a door opener. Yeah, well, they're not. Uh, I, they're, none of the episodes are connected to each other, so. Yeah, I, but there is like a, I mean, it, it, in many instances, you and I have needed a door opener, like to see the very first episode in order yeah. to to see where it starts, and then we can proceed from there. Yeah. Um, this is. This is not that case. I mean, we're both pretty familiar with Colombo in in many in many ways, and on many different uh, episodes. You know, mm -hmm. um, apparently there's three TV movies or three movies that were part of uh, three different pilots, which were which were not exactly as endearing and. I mean, it was just a different whole ambiance, and he played more of a straight character. And this, in this, he plays a good foil for this television detective, which was great fun because it was so meta. <laughs> I mean, it was really meta, and there was all this talk about production, and you could see what they were doing. They were saying. Listen, um, I'm, I'm. We're going to tell you some things about what's going on with Colombo in this, while while we show you this murder mystery. So that was fun. I I thought that that was really, it was a great way of of getting you behind the scenes while still telling you a story. So that was kind of interesting, Ooh. and and. Uh, yeah, I liked I I love the way that that Falk and Shatner played off each other. Mm. That was really enjoyable. It was like in, it was like first of all, you could see that the actors had a lot of charisma and a lot of chemistry, and that was fun. But then you know their characters, even the multiple characters that Shatner was playing. Even all that, they were really they they really liked each other. So I mean that that was it, that whole thing was enjoyable. But I uh I, I was so I, it was sort of um it was sort of you didn't get enough at the beginning to know 
really why he was going to kill this lady. Yeah, but that 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 came out later on, didn't it? It did. Mm. So that that was really an issue for me at the beginning of the the is that there just wasn't any reason for it. Anyway. Yeah, just the the whole, you know, hidden identity thing. I you know, I see that that was that would be that would be a thing. Anyway. <laughs> So for all of that, that's all my opening thoughts. So yeah. back over well, to Liu Li. I just I just love the way, especially this one as well. Colombo, he knows straight away with as I say within ten minutes or so, he knows the person who's done that, who's done the deed. But yeah. He, but he sort of befriends them. Mm. Yeah. And then feeds them. Feed some little information here and information there, waiting for their responses. Mm. And Shatner's character was the sort was doing the same to Columbo, uh huh, because he was he was per perceiving himself as the TV detective. Mm -hmm. What would what would he do if he was in charge of the case? Mm -hmm. And you know, wow, this is this is getting a bit of a mind trip here because. Mm -hmm. You've got Shat <laughs> well, you've got Shatner to begin with, but you got <laughs> and, and and there were a few Shatner moments. Oh yeah. Uh but, oh, yeah. but you've got you've got Shatner uh, playing him as the TV detective, then he's back to his normal self, but he's not that real person anyway. <laughs> so it was a it was a it was a great man trip. <laughs> yep. Um, and it was, it was, it was, it was sort of a battle of wits between those two. Um, sort of, it was a sort of equal, e equal footing. But you, as you say, you did get a bit of, Sh you did get a bit of Shatner acting here and there, which I've got nothing against that. I, I, I love Shatner. Um, I know a lot of I know a lot of people do, but I, I like him. Um, so you know, and the the comedic parts in this are played to perfection by Peter Falk. Oh my gosh! Um, you, you know the the walking behind the scenes while he's filming <laughs> backwards and forwards and through the window. So. So they had to they had to cut and all like that. Um, and then, and then Colombo messing about in front of the camera. Uh -huh. oh, I heard the, that. Yeah, um, great comedian. Because you you always think of Peter Falk as you know as the the grubby little detective, but putting a bit of comedy there as well works so well. Um. But you know, you just know, you just know he's he's laid the trap. For, he's laid the trap for the murder. It's just a matter of time before he he gets him. One more thing. <laughs> but that was a, that was an interesting thing about this this particular uh, Colombo was that there wasn't. He never had to say that. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. Near the end, near the end, yeah. Oh, okay. As he's walking towards me, he went, "Oh, one more thing." Oh. Yeah, well, I mean, that was where he, he couldn't even open the door. How do you oh. do this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, a, a great. I mean, we could have picked any episode out of out of all you know, out of a thirty-five disc set. I'm, I'm glad we picked the Shatner one. Yeah, that was that was. Uh... And and oh, the other thing oh, the, about this episode was uh, like uh, the way he was doing with dealing with time, mm. like like our our first podcast yeah. was uh, all to do with time. Uh, 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 evil under the sun, the Agatha Christie story. So this one was also, um, you know, the loose uh, like. Uh, Lucerne or um, 
He he created an alibi. Or uh, you know, Fowler uh he he drugs his friends drink while they're, while they're watching a game of um baseball. Well, on the TV, yeah. And they're watching the Dodgers, and they are, uh, and he puts it up, uh, he drugs a drink, he falls asleep, he changes mm. his watch to an hour and a half in the future. Yeah. And, um, or, yeah, and then he records um, the match. He records the no, he puts it an hour and a half in the past, and then, and then he uh, records the the game, and then he goes and does does his thing at the at the delicatessen, and then he comes back, and and he readjusts the watch eventually back after he is um, after he fools him into thinking that the game is still right where they were. He's watching the recording. But he's actually watching the recording. But unknown, was... unbeknownst to him, yeah. his friend keeps his watch, is it five minutes fast? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's a little giveaway for Columbo. That was that was the, the mistake. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the mistake was and what was the mistake? It was the live bullets in the gun. Oh yeah, the also also not only the live bullets, and 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 that's kind of timely because uh, Alec Baldwin was just arrested, and he's just he's been going through trouble over live bullets in a gun that he killed yeah. the cinematographer and shot the director. Yeah. Of of the movie because he was. He was handed a gun that was hot. Anyway, the interesting thing was is that uh, the bullets that, that he put into the gun and took out of the gun or whatever all had his fingerprints on them, and he hadn't taken care of those fingerprints. He dusted the gun, but he didn't dust the bullets. Yep. And that's when he went, oh, I had to forget one thing. <laughs> So he was real. He really, basically gave the gave the game away. Yeah. At that point, that yeah. was his confession. Yeah, it was great. It, it was a great episode. I, I loved it. It was to and fro with Colombo and him. Because in most, in most, most episodes of Colombo, the murderer gets annoyed that he keeps turning up. Yeah. You know, you That's know, true. but in this one, uh, Shatner's character just loved him being there because <laughs> they were to and fro with what would you think would they do? What you know, what, what would so and so, what would you do? <laughs> he, he was feeding Columbo all this information. He, uh, he must have thought he was that perfect of a murder, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have got caught. Well, I think so. I think that that's what he thought. But that he said he was just, he was sort of literally telling them that that's, oh yeah, he did it that way. He must have done it that way. And that actually, that's how he did do it. Huh. Great writing. Yeah, know. that was really great. It was. Yeah. I mean, it's, all, it's only a TV series, but the writing in it. You can't fault it, can you? No, and you, you ha have a lot of uh, a lot of mystery mm -hmm. in your in your collection, and and this is this is a really good mystery series. I mean, and you're oh, yeah. right; it, it is way different from all the other ones in that they show you the murder and they show you how they did it and they show you all the all the things, and it's just up to Colombo to discover what you already know. Yeah. And that, that I, I mean, that's even different from the way that they're doing reality murder shows, like Homicide Hunter and all those other ones. You yeah. don't, there are, there, are, there are lots of shows 
but I think this is I think this is completely unique, like you were saying. I can say I can't think of any other detective show no. that has that way of working. Not even Snap. Yeah, none of the reality shows are like that. No, no, no it's just different. No, no, yeah, you've got you. You get like all the murder things. Is there's been a there's been a murder. The clues are all there, but you don't find the murderer until the end. Right. And that's sort of a, a Agatha, Agatha Christie esque sort yeah. of thing. The murder's yeah, not revealed until the end. The murder <laughs> with the Colombo. The, the murder's revealed in the first few minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh! It was just amazing. Yeah. So uh, yeah, a great, a great story. Good episode to pick as well. Yeah. Anything else you want to say about, about fading to murder? Uh, pretty meta. Pretty. Uh, I like the time tra- The time, you know, messing with time. Like, like, I think that mm. that's really what this whole weekend is about. This and whole we weekend. Plan- we didn't plan it. Didn't plan it, but it just happened again. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, anyway, I, I just did. Yeah, it's just really great. And um, the other thing was, is like, uh, I just think that Peter Falk is so endearing when he when he when he turns around and says, "Oh, oh just one more thing," and and I'm I'm I I was I I guess I missed that one that one thing when he was yeah. trying to open the door. Yeah, he he walked, he walked towards the door and he turned round. Oh. oh, one more thing. Good. But um, uh, question is, was Peter Falk playing Columbo with a glass eye, or was Columbo fully sighted? Um, why do you ask that? Is Columbo because Peter glass- Falk, Peter Falk had a glass eye. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, you only had one eye. Hmm. And I've often wondered, was he play? <laughs> it's some of what goes around in my head. Yeah. Was was he playing the character as a fully sighted detective, or was he playing him with a glass eye? No, I think that he was playing him fully sighted. Hmm. There is no uh, listen. Uh, I know. <laughs> I know how people like. Hint at their disabilities. I, I I I talk to people all the time with disabilities, and I know how they hint at it. But I've never heard him hint about that, and that's why I just didn't even know that he had one. Oh yeah, he, oh yeah. He, he, he's as far as I know, he'd always had one for years. No, I know, but I mean, I I I don't know him as an actor. I I've never really done any research about him at all. But having watched a few 20, 30, 40 of these things. Uh, <laughs> um, now, the next the next episode you're going to watch, you're going to think, right, which is the glass eye? Yeah, right. I'm going to try and figure that out. But it's the, the important one, thing is, one is one that Colombo never hints at a disability. No, no, it's just one of those things what used to go around in my head. And, when I and to- the other thing is Colombo also doesn't hint at uh at being at being anything other than uh just a little frumpy you know that's yeah. all that, that's the only thing that's like is that he's got an older car and he's got an old trench coat and he does and he never presses his trench coat that's it that's um, and he's also got a wife mrs Columbo. And he and he's and he and he wears really junky shoes. He was so <laughs> impressed with with uh with Lucerne's shoes that he yeah. that he's like he t- takes off his shoes and he puts them on and he's like, Oh, I'm a little dollar. But I'm also he was like beautiful. but also he was like, These are beautiful. And <laughs> so I mean his frumpiness, his his, you know, sort of downtrodden look. I, you know, I know that that may be just, uh, 
Well, I think that's a choice that Colombo makes to disarm his. I don't opponent. think that, this is what I was going to say. I don't think it's a choice on purpose to disarm the murderers. I think it's no. him just being from him. All right. Yeah. All right. Because I, I, that was always a question I had. It's like, but the, you see, but the he, murderers, looks, he looks so sloppy. Yeah. That, but the, the murderers think that he's a disheveled little detective. Exactly. So underestimate him at your own risk, right? But I don't think he's done it on purpose. I think that's the way that character just is. So What's that? He's a how done it, not a who done it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, I I can see why you said he, he he sort of makes the murderers think. Oh yeah, we've got we're going to get the better of him because look, yeah. look at because look at him, look at that shitty car he drives. Look at this, yeah. look at this trench coat that he hasn't ever washed, and 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 it has no pleats left in it, and. You know what it is? Why, he's just spending his money. <laughs> why? Why are his shoes so bad? You saw <laughs> the difference between Lucerne's shoes and his, yeah. and then yeah. and you're, he was like wearing, you know, junk. Yeah, I don't great. know that. That's a, that to me is a really important question, and that is like that. I I guess that might be even like one of those fandom questions. Yeah, I mean. I know the character of Columbo, well, this is going a few years back, was voted really high in a in a in a poll of one of the greatest TV detectives. Uh, oh, yeah? yeah, I think I think he came in the top five. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, there, was, there was like Holmes, Poirot, Columbo. You know, I think I think Columbo came the highest one of the American detectives. Oh. No way, really. That's he's awesome. What is what? It's a it's a beloved uh, show, isn't he? A character. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, he didn't. Towards the end of the uh, run of the things, he didn't make that many in a season of episodes. Mm. So, but uh, great episode to pick. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. To have to have we could I mean we could have had we could have had the episode with Nimoy in it. Okay, well maybe that's that's <laughs> something we can do later. Yeah. But uh so what would your final say score be on uh Fade into Murder? All right. Well I enjoyed it a lot. I uh I liked how meta it was. I I thought that that was really something interesting. Yeah. Was it could have been it could have been trying to sort of give you information about how the show was going and that was fun and Lucerne was great, I mean Shatner was great. I at, at the the many the many parts of, that he was playing and the many different personalities that were sharing that part. Yeah, he was a bit of a schizophrenic, wasn't he? But, and um and I also enjoyed the the I always enjoy the repartee when when Columbo's trying to figure out where where it fits, what are the what are all the clues leading to and stuff like that. So that's fun. And um yeah. So I would say that this is worth a nine point five, uh, really terrible shoes <laughs> out of ten. Well, I tell you, I've just remembered some what we haven't mentioned before I go to my. Please, please, yeah, let's 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 do it. Let's discuss Let, everything. A great guest appearance from Bruce the Shark from Jaws. Oh yeah. <laughs> That was cool. That was cool. So, so the film was filmed at Universal Studios, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. All of them are Universal. On the lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was watching it. Oh, look! There's the there's the there's the, there's the shark. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give this 
Yeah, I'm going to give it 9.5 as well. Cool. Because, uh, as I said, I had to watch it twice just to get my head round the, the Shatner characters, characters, to uh, the way he was talking. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, 9.5 floppy hats <laughs> out of 10 for me. <laughs> Um, that's great. It, it, it's a good watch. Um, so that's our little review of the Columbo episode. Thank you, Susan. For yeah, fade into murder. So, I like the, yeah. I like the the fact that they uh that they uh named it fade in because that 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 meant that it was all you know. It, that the murder would you you'd see the murder early because you yeah. just fade in and that's the beginning of a of a scene or the beginning of a whole TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And two great two great actors just locking locking wits. Um, yep. Yeah. So you guys out there. If you've seen the episode, if you remember the episode, because they say it's from a long time ago now, nineteen seventy six. Um, leave a message below. Let us know what you thought of it. Um, leave a message below if you'd like to join us on our little casts. You'll find this video on all social media platforms. I share the link off to them, so leave a message there. Um, and if you do want to join us, please be eighteen and over, because some movies are things we discuss are 18 plus um also have a working microphone and camera on the device you use um and you can be in on our zoom every week um also on the youtube please press the bell notification button the sound of silence <laughs> And, and you know, and uh, you'll get notified every time we put some good video. So that's everything now, isn't it, Susan? Yeah, you did it. Mm. And 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 since you did it, uh, I won't tell anybody that I know that you did it. Oh right, mm -hmm. see, okay. As long as you won't tell no one. Yeah, I'm I'm okay. I'll I'll keep your secret. Okay then. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> That's how you started this podcast. That was so great. I was like, <laughs> wait a second. What what it was oh, oh, it's Columbo's line. <laughs> hey. Nice one, Lee. Nice one. I got to get it in the end. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs>